Lesson 11, the product rule. Y equals U times V, where U is one function and V is another function multiplied together. Now, for convenience, I'm going to let del big delta Y equal little delta Y, etc. And now, we can replace Y with Y plus delta Y. That's Y plus delta Y is equal to u plus delta u times v plus delta v and and then what we'll do is we'll then ex expand well, as you can see I've expanded that out now you notice here that y equals u times v so if we replace u u v with y like these two here will cancel out and then on dividing through by delta x, we get delta y over delta x is equal to this result here. And what I'll do now is I'll take the limits to both, to both sides. As you can see what I've done here, I've taken the limits to both sides and this, this, this limit becomes the sum of these limits. Now... <clears throat> We can rearrange each of these and we'll take these out the front. But before I do that, I want to consider this particular limit here. And this limit as delta x goes towards zero. Now, as delta x goes towards zero, so will delta v go towards zero. So this part here becomes zero. So whatever this comes to, it'll be zero times this limit. So this, in fact, all this will be equal to zero. Okay, so that's gone to zero, and now we have the u coming to the front. Of course, that's independent of delta x, and so is, is v. And we know that the limit as delta y and delta x, uh, as delta x goes towards zero, delta y and delta x, that is just dy dx. So we can say dy dx is equal to u times, now this is dv dx, dv dx plus v times du dx and that is a very important product rule for differentiation all right now we'll do a couple of examples here first one is y equals x squared times x plus 2 all cubed now multiplication sign is in here so i'll let the u equal x squared and v equals x plus 2, all cubed. Now, I could have done it the other way around. It wouldn't matter. So now we'll differentiate this one. So du dx. Now, I'll just I'm going to leave it as du as an abbreviation, 2x. And the v is equal to, here's the chain rule. So it becomes 3 outside of x plus 2 to the power of 2, dropping 1 off the 3. Look inside the parentheses, and we'll see differentiating this just becomes 1. There's no need to put the 1 out there. Well, 1 there, because 3 times 1 is just 3. Now, using this um, the product rule, just replacing the um, u dv dx this way. It's not a bad idea to actually just drag a, draw a little arrow across here. Okay, so it's going to be x squared times this one, which is 3. So let's write this down, dy dx. You also write y dash, another abbreviation you can use. So y dx equals 3x squared outside of x plus 2 all squared plus now the other one. Can do a different colour going this way. Oh, that's a different colour, wasn't it? Different colour going that way, just to emphasise what you're doing. And that will be 2x times that, because it doesn't matter what order you multiply things in. So it's 2x outside of x plus 2 all cubed. The others are, others are quite good, because you don't get, get confused. Now, you could leave it like that, but it's much nicer if we could factorise this. Now, the highest common factor here is between x and x squared is x. So it's x outside of and the highest common factor here is going to be x plus 2 all squared
and then I'll put these curly brackets in. So I have a 3x here. Check this, 3x times x is 3x squared times x plus 2 all squared. Plus 2, you're already taking out the x, but you'll need the x plus 2 in here. And again, if we check that, 2 times x is 2x, and x plus 2 times x plus 2 all squared is x plus 2 all cubed. And just tidy up that one inside the curly brackets. And that's going to be 2x and 3x is 5x. Plus and 2 times 2 is 4. All nicely factorised for you. All right, here's number 2. A little bit harder because you've got the, the square root sign. Again, we'll let u equal... I'll just pause the video if you like and have a go yourself. Okay, let u equal x plus 3 and v equals. Now, remember, we need to change that to a power half. Now, du is equal to 1 and the v is equal to... Now, the half comes down. 2x minus 1, take a half, 1 away from a half, you get minus a half, minus a half, and we look inside and differentiate. This time we'll get a 2. And we tidy all that up, these will cancel out, and this becomes 1 over square root of 2x minus 1. Now we're set to put in the product rule, so divide the x, or Right, the y dash is equal to, now this u to v, I'll do that thing over here, u to v there, is going to be, now I'll put the x plus 3 on top here, so it becomes x plus 3 all over square root of 2x minus 1, plus, now the other way, well, 1 times that is just this, but we'll put it back into the radical form, so that becomes the square root of 2x minus 1. Again, that's a bit ugly, so we'll put over a common denominator of the square root of 2x minus 1, so we'll need to multiply this one by the square root of 2x minus 1, which is just 2x minus 1. So this becomes x plus 3 plus 2x minus 1 all over the square root of 2x minus 1 and that becomes 3x plus 2 all over the square root of 2x minus 1. Now there's, a, there's no way we could have done this without the product rule because of this the square root sign in this particular case.